Hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. I've never hit the stop recording button on OBS and hit the start recording button so quickly in my entire life because we are up to the finale of season three of Lost, ladies and gentlemen. What a, what a phenomenal run of episodes it has been, you know, to end the season itself. This has been absolutely amazing and we still have one episode to go, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It is your boy, Ellie Moses, your 24-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia, absolutely shooting his shot. And this is the Lost Season 3 finale, Through the Looking Glass, Part 2. We're going to get into the reaction. We're going to have some fun with this thing. And as always, let's absolutely freaking smash it. Let's go. Hey, Beater Jack back again. Old man Jack. I love it. Damn, the Motorola flip phone? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's memories. Okay, so he keeps calling the same number he did last episode. So I don't think that is Sarah. Okay, it's not Sarah. It might be... Oh, they keep obscuring the news article. Who died? Who passed away? He is at a funeral parlor, so is he... He organizing the funeral for said person? Picking out the casket? Oh! I recognize you! Can I help you? I don't... Sorry, oh. I, uh, The funeral over. There was no funeral, sir. Only a viewing. Nobody showed up. Oh, who for? Nobody. You sure? Just you. My deepest condolences. Friend or family. They're similar to the reveal of the newspaper article. Either. And the way they're obscuring it with the shots and Would you like me to open it up? No. The focusing in and out. They're gonna no. wait. They're gonna wait to reveal this because time. I have a theory, but I don't want to You know what I, I I said something last episode, but I'll wait for the first commercial break to talk. I want to let this play out. This is so good. Matthew Fox has nailed it as old man Jack. Alright. I have a theory here. What I want to say... It, it's obviously... It's not Christian because we've seen the scenes play out with Christian, you know, in the Sydney hospital, uh, not the Sydney hospital, the Sydney airport. That's not Sydney airport. Um, I'm just trying to think who of significance could be in that coffin from Jack's past life or what we've seen of Jack. It's not Sarah because she's currently pregnant. Um, it's, it's not the woman he saved in the car accident. Because, you know, he was reading that newspaper article on the plane. Um, and he got the news on the plane that possibly someone he knows or holds dear to his heart has passed away. So it's not the woman that was going to go into operation that he saved. Um, it, this possibly... Listen, I know we've dealt with the concept of time this season. This could be possibly the very first flash forward in the show. This could be after the events of the island. It could be like maybe an alternate reality and someone that has passed away here, the said person in the coffin, because it's being concealed, they are not revealing it. And, you know, the way they're obscuring the newspaper article, the way it's ripped out um, and the way they're compositing the shots around it, it could be someone from the island. Now, we've been told that Claire and Aaron do get off the island in a helicopter. Who else is on that helicopter? Remember, Jack was supposed to go on the submarine and bring back, you know, help for everyone. What if this is Jack in his post-island life and he got off the helicopter, you know, with Claire as the hero and he promised everyone, you know, that he'd come back to help him. But this is him in that spiraling state 
not being able to come back to the island and help everyone. This is the hero not being able to save everyone. You know, heroes deal with that in the time. Like, you know, I, I said this once. Um, I said this analogy once in a show. I can't remember which I was watching. But I likened the characters to sort of like Spider-Man or a superhero. You know, at the end of the day, you can't save everyone. And it's that moment when the hero can't save everyone, you know, that sort of like brings out the best of them, I feel like. When that, that moment of realization, you know, they're so used to saving everyone in their life. Jack, as the doctor, is so used to saving everyone in their life that when they can't save that one individual, that's when they have that sort of like that cathartic moment. And it's like sort of like the most challenging moment for them as the hero. That's what makes you a hero. Do you want to continue being that hero after that? Or do you, you know, go into a downward spiraling state like Jack has in his drunkenness? That's my theory here. It could be like sort of like an alternate reality in time or it could be Jack post the island, hence his beard. Because I'm trying to figure out where this fits in the time frame post, uh, sorry, pre-island and I can't figure out when. There hasn't been any hints to suggest this is Jack in his pre-island life. And I'm just trying to figure out, especially with Sarah being pregnant. Oh man. Because the island, you know, time frame is not that major it's only about a couple of months right so sarah still could get pregnant oh i'm oh, oh man i'm so interested i'm so interested i'm sorry for the long ramble at the beginning of the episode but i'm Danielle. this is about to be cinema the radio tell when was the last time you were there today i recorded the message 16 years ago that's crazy to the tower but i'm not leaving the island what there's no place for me this is my home now. Her daughter is here as well. Okay, what's the ace he has up his sleeve here? How's he gonna talk him out of this? We need to talk. Checking we're still recording. <laughs> Come on, Barbosa, what are you gonna do, bro? What did Ben say? Can we kill him? Is it possible to turn this equipment off? The casing for the equipment is waterproof. It'll keep going forever. Then oh. You need to be here. Because Ben told us to. Asking We're all the right questions. Orders. And you never asked why. No. Because I trust him. And I trust Jacob. Good luck. And the minute I start questioning orders, this whole thing, everything that we're doing here falls apart. Damn. You shot my girl. <laughs> oh, he shot my other girl. That was coming. He, he let her run off. He gave her a chance. I would have dived right in the water. But yeah, there was no hope. Please. I'm sorry, boy. I too am following orders. Hey! He is not dead. I'm telling you right now, this guy has got some Soviet plot armor. No, death, death. You gotta double tap his ass. We need a triple tap his ass. The guy has been dead multiple times. Or oh, once, but he was still moving the last time I saw him. Hi, I'm Benjamin. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Go talk to him. What do you want? Just a moment of your time. <laughs> Kate doing a perimeter talk, sweep. You and me. Alone. For what? Jack, you've just killed seven of my people. The least you can give me is five minutes. Okay, well, there's only two sets of tracks. His and hers. He ain't the best tracker, though. Five minutes. Russo having a field day in the back, just seeing her daughter right here. <laughs> How is he going to manipulate Jack here? How is he going to get into the mind of Jack? This is Jack's true test here. I'm sorry, sir. There are no more refills left on this prescription. I, I've got another prescription right here. Hey, I know you. You're the hero. Okay. I'm not a hero. They yeah, keep yeah, talking. We, we saw it on TV. They keep talking we, about the hero. Him. Just give this guy whatever he needs. You know what he did? There it is. Here. Dr. Shepard, you can't write a prescription for yourself. That's oh, that's not, crazy. It's <laughs> Dr. Christian Shepard. I'm Dr. Jack Shepard. I'm going to have to call your father's office to confirm this. Oh, that's right now. Well, I'm sure somebody in the office... 
Yeah, so his father has passed away here. This is this is but... after his father. I'm I'm telling you, this is post island. I think they keep talking about him being the hero. There's something he did other than the car accident, which is potentially this whole flight eight fifteen debacle. Have a seat. He's out of town for a while, Doctor Christian Shepard. Maybe that's a misleading. Not Obviously, so long ago, Jack. It could be possibly in I Sydney, made a but that took the lives of over 40 people in a single day. You're going to kill all my people. No, Jack. You are. Oh, so that's why he's the way he is as an old man, Jack. And how am I going to do that, then? The woman you're traveling with. The one who parachuted onto the island from a helicopter. She's not who she says she is. See, this is probably the manipulation she's play not, here. Huh? The ace no, up his sleeve. Not. Or he actually knows something. Then who is she? She's a representative of some people who have been trying to find this island, Jack. But she said Penny hired her, so we good, we She's calm. She's one of the bad guys. Oh. But he doesn't know about I the Penny forgot. thing. You're the, you're the good Jacks. Jack, listen to me. If you phone her boat, every single living person on this island will be killed. The catch, the catch. So here's what has to happen. Get that device. The phone she carries with her. And give it to me. I feel like this is. I his... will turn around. We'll go back to my people. You will turn around. And go back to your people. I'm not going anywhere. This is Ben's final hail mary here. May I have my walkie back? This is where we need what? stubborn Jack. There's something you need to hear. Please. I don't know if he's fabricated something here, man, or if he's saved this to the end. He's a good liar, but he might have something. Thank you. He might really have something here. Tom, are you there? And what's to stop me from snapping your neck? Come, unless you hear my voice in one minute, shoot all three of them. Come on. Sawyer and Juliet need to come through here. Sawyer and Juliet need to come through. See, Jack knows they're on their way, but I don't know if a minute's enough. Seconds. I'm getting them all off the island. All of them. Let me ask you something, Jack. Why do you want to leave the island? What is it that you so desperately want to get back to? You have no one. Your father's dead. Your wife left you. Moved on with another man. Can we just not wait to get back to the hospital? Get back to fixing things. Twenty seconds now. Just get me the phone, Jack. No. Ten seconds. Bring me the phone. No. I'm not bluffing. I won't Five, do it. Four. Three. I think Julia and Sawyer came through. This is misleading. Great tension build up, but so sorry, Jack. I don't think we lost. I think he's gonna hear potentially Sawyer's voice on the walkie-talkie and stop punching him here. Great art of deception here. Come find you. And I'm gonna kill you. Damn! I feel like they kept Tom alive, maybe. Okay, maybe Mikhail is dead. That's a lot of blood lost. Oh, no, no. I saw, I thought he was. Oh, they dumped him in there. My bad. Honey, let's just get this over with, okay? What's the code? Four, she's eight. Gonna tell your brother. Yeah, she's gonna tell me. What makes you say that? Because you said it's my destiny to turn off that jam. We're gonna die down here, right? Let's be perfectly honest. One-eyed maniac just killed your friend. He shot He's still breathing! It would appear that your glorious leader, Ben, put him up to it. Come on, Bonnie, come through. Idiot. You have the opportunity to make Ben very, very angry. Why would you not take that? Damn, she really for the cause. Five, four, five. Whoa. Eight, seven. Is that a code? Five, five, four, three. It was programmed by a musician. Oh, yo. And the musician is right here. <laughs> that could be some weird time thingy as well. With who programmed the numbers. With them being notes. I feel like we're still, be up. We're still being misled with the, with, us. with the Tom... Sawyer, Juliet thing. What? 
He has no idea. <laughs> Alex. This is your mother. <laughs> he just said it. <laughs> he just he's like, I'm probably about to die. This is your mother. <laughs> Yo, the actress who plays Danielle does a fantastic job. There's a lot to take in for Alex, but and I hope I die alone. What happened? You killed him. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I think we would have been shown if they killed him. If the, if they did kill all three of them, that is ballsy. Radio at the beach. Like that is insane. And I let it happen. But if even if they, there's still that I doubt in my mind. Happen. But even if they did kill him, we can't tell Rose. Or son, not yet. We got to keep moving. I promise, Saeed. Like they are really keeping their keep their cards close to their chest here with the reveal and everything. So why did you bring him back? Because I feel like they would have radioed in by now. And let Why Jack know. Just kill him? Because I want him to see it. I want him to experience the moment that we get off this island. And I want him to know. That's that clashing egos, man. <laughs> that he failed. That's that clashing egos. <laughs> I want to remind you. And then I'll kill him. It's an order, Tom. We had to follow it. Oh, okay. Ben doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He's lost it. I mean, look at what they did to us. Instead of putting three bullets in the damn sand, we should have killed him for real. Woo! Okay, so it was. It was a fake out, but it wasn't Juliet and Sawyer. All we got left is three guys and four guns. No, we've got James, our two people, and no guns. <laughs> Don't tell me so the odds. I, <laughs> I think I'm going to change the fact that we're unarmed. If you want to kill yourself, that's fine. But before you go, I'm back. It's early with the minivan! No way! I thought Juliet was somehow gonna go into it and, you know, potentially... Oh. Damn, Hurley got that plot on as well. Oh, damn. Fair play. I thought potentially Juliet was gonna go and try and talk out of it. Talk him out of it. The Roger Workman truck! Still killing people after all these years. Stay in the bus, hero. And we all know Tom ain't gonna die. Light work. Ooh, Saeed! With the feet! Somebody on the writer's room got a foot fetish? Damn! Stay right there, Tom. Must have been Quentin Tarantino writing that scene. Okay. Zeke. Zeke. I give up. The one who shot him on the raft. Come on. Full circle moment. That's for taking the kid off the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's a nice callback. <laughs> Is he dead dead? Can he we double tap? You surrendered. Killed seven of my people. Make that ten, baby. Double digits. Hey, Jack and Juliet were meant for each other, man. Taking medication or samples from certain places. What's oxycodone do again? Is it like, is it for his depression or is it? Put him on off the set. What? We need to have a talk. He must be on like long-term leave or something. You know, I know that you're you're new around here. So you don't know much about me. I know enough. But let's just walk down to my oh, office. If you got something to say to me, say it to me. Right here. I like seeing this drunken Jack, man. Will you excuse us, please? I don't like seeing this like father, like son moment. Mrs. Arlen, the woman you say, woke up in recovery about two hours ago. Yay! She was in some pain, but highly responsive to the reflex test and entirely lucid. Great. But then she described the series of events that caused her accident. She says she was driving over the bridge when she saw a man standing on top of the railing. 
about to jump off. <sighs> she was distracted. I lost control of her car. She ran into the median, rolled over, and was hit by the van behind her. So the obvious question here, Jack, is how did you get to that flaming car so fast? What were you doing on that bridge? At least this doctor cares, man. Asking the real question. You know how many years I've worked at this hospital? Get him down here right now. And if I'm drunker than he is, you can fire me. Don't you look at me like that. Don't you pity me. I'm trying to help you. You can't help me! See, I feel like that's misleading. Because he said before his father's on... He's going away for a while. But if it is said after, this might be, yeah, like I said, part of this sort of downward spiral. And it's like a drunken rage here. You get your father down here. And because obviously he's had those memories with his father being drunk. I'm just struggling to find how is this. Because I'm... I'm, I'm I love that Hurley radio in here. I'm just still trying to comprehend and find how it is set in that period, you know, before Christian dies and before, uh, and sorry, after Sarah gets pregnant and after the divorce and stuff like that. Because who, like, who is that individual that, you know, died on the news that Jack, that Jack saw and it was worthy enough to be in a newspaper like that. And for him to call an individual, is, is it potentially his mother that passed away and had no one? And yeah, because Christian has died because it is said after the island events and he's calling his mother's line or he's calling his dad's old number to tell him that mom passed away and it's all part of this sort of like downward spiral he's had. Into depression. If you're listening to this, I want you to know that we got you, bastard. <laughs> unless the rest of you want to be blown up. That's hopeful. Stay away from our feet. Hurley? Jack? <laughs> Where are you? What's going on? Dude, I'm back at the beach. What? Yeah, I went back to help Juliet and Sawyer. I, I saved them. They're okay, Juliet. Everyone's fine. Me, Sawyer, Juliet, Saeed. Jin Bernard, we're all wait. That is the best news. Ah, oh, trust Hurley Bernard to provide the Jin ultimate Saeed, moment. With you? Yeah, dude, I told you, I saved them all. <laughs> <laughs> trust Hurley to be the MVP of this episode. Yeah, I got you. We'll stay put until you like, you know, going home. <laughs> What about Charlie? Did he make it back yet? Not yet, but they're probably paddling home as we speak. Probably. I'm sure he's fine. This has been a banger of an episode. That guy ain't dead, I'm telling you right now. Double yes. tap his ass, he knows how to play dead. I think you're on those racks, yeah? Hi, it's plenty. Why don't you take care of that? I'll tap out good vibrations. All right, mate. Also, it's the notes of good vibrations out of the code. Okay. Any flashes? Any hope? No, nothing. Aye. Mikhail is the one that's gonna sabotage everything. Watch, because he thinks he's smooth sailing here. Because I'm just trying to think of any other scenario that could stuff up this whole situation. It's probably Mikhail. And I don't know how he's still alive after getting a speed right through the heart. Or just, you know, probably missing the heart, but. I'm trying to look at Mikhail in the background, his body, and see if he gets up. Oh, that's a long. He got up! His body's not there! His body's not there! His body's not there! Look! I told you! So much for fate. Look, 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 look. In, in the previous shot here, that's why I was... I, I, look, he's, he's right there. He's, he's there in that shot. Look. His body's there. His body's right there. There he is. 
And then in the in, in the shot here, as Charlie finishes putting the code in, when they cut to the sort of overhead medium wide long shot, his body's not there. The blood trail's there, but his body's not there. Freaking zombie ass Soviet man. So much, so much for, fate. for fate. There we go. And juxtaposition events here. They think they're home sailing. Penny! It's Penny! Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, Charlie. Uh, Charlie Pace, I'm a survival flight 815, Oceanic, flight 815. Where are you? We're on an island. We're alive. An island? We're where? What's going to take you? I don't know. Who's this? Get Desmond's ass in here right now! Oh, come on! Let me have this moment! He's brilliant! Hey, are you on the boat? Your boat? 80 miles offshore. Uh, Naomi, parachutist. I'm not on a boat! Who? Where's Naomi? No, no, that's, that's, that's okay. That's right, because Naomi ever said she's never met Penelope. She's never met Penelope. She said that. She never met Penelope. Told you, man. Zombie Soviet. How is he not leaking blood at the moment? Oh, he gonna close the door and save Desmond. Just when you thought he's dead. F you, bro. Honestly. Because I feel like, I don't know if that's meant to tie into sort of the thing with Naomi saying, or like with, you know, Ben, is Ben possibly telling the truth about Naomi? Um, you know, not being who she is and being a, a part of another corporation. But Naomi did say when she woke up and she had the photo of Desmond and Penelope, um, you know, she never met Penelope. So I'm guessing that's why Naomi doesn't know her. Oh, sorry, Penelope doesn't know her. You know, she spent a lot of money on resources, but she doesn't know who exactly is a part of that team. Oh no, he's writing a message. You know, you knew Charlie's death was coming, but... The way it plays out is so perfect. What message did he write? No! No! No, he's gonna take that as he's dying. Oh, fuck! Are we sure of that? He's gonna take that to heart. He's gonna take that as gospel, man. Damn, we lost one of the OGs. Far out. Really, we gotta cut that with Aaron crying at the same time, like he sensed the disturbance in the force. Hard to blame him. What's your boyfriend's name? The rock star who swam down to the station. Charlie, why? Charlie just got his rescue. That's a good thing, right? Like, I, I, I don't think Naomi is sus at all. Jack, Jack, we did it. The friend bloody well did it. What? The green light, it's on. The jamming stopped. Use it then. All right. Hey. What's this? Where's son when you need her? Son? True service message is still blocking the signal. What does it matter? It's a lot. We're here. Hey, that, that, hey, that, that's those Lord of the Rings helicopter shots, bro. That's those New Zealand shots. <laughs> Of Hawaii. <laughs> Why does it say speaking Korean? Wasn't it French? I swear it was French. Or did it play in multiple languages just in case? Yeah, I think it played in multiple languages. Yeah, yeah, it did, it did. But if it did play in Korean, why didn't they get Sun to translate it? Why did Shannon need to translate it in season one? I recorded this 16 years ago. 
three days before you were born. Man, look at the way she's looking at her mother. All right, do it. Send it, send it. You know what Mikhail's like in the show? He's like the cockroach that never dies okay, in the show. Okay, so go outside. I love how Jack's following her, especially after what Ben said. Like, there's still that little bit of doubt. Let me make sure. What's happening? You're gonna get out of this island. Chill, 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 chill. We'll celebrate when we're home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no premature stuff here, man. Jack! I know you think you're saving your people. But you need to stop this. It's a mistake. Ben possibly might mistake have... Who's listening to you. This One final chance, ace up his sleeve I'm here. I'm telling you, making that call is the beginning of the end. I've got it. I've got a signal. <laughs> Motherfucker! John! Step back, Jack. He throwing knife there! What did you do? What I had to. Now step back. So much for that void being filled. Stay away from the phone. What are you doing, John? I don't want to shoot you. Do it, John. Shoot him. Do what you need. Please. Put the phone down. You gotta, you gotta think to yourself, man. This guy's for the island and the island alone. You're done keeping me on this island. That's why. I will kill you if I have to. Then do it, John. Jack. Can't you secretly press send on the side? You know, just tap it. Just tap it. It's touch screen. Tap it. Is this? this possibly has something that ties in with old man My Jack. Jack Shepard, are you are you on the boat, the freighter? How'd you get this channel? Naomi. Naomi told us about your search team, about the boat. Naomi? You found her? Where is she? Who are you? So Locke just did that at the expense of I'm Naomi. One of the survivors of Oceanic Flight 815. Can you get a fix on our location? Hell yeah, we can. Sit tight. Okay. Right because I'm confused here. The island is saying something to Locke, which was through Walt, potentially. But Desmond is having certain flashes about... Maybe, you know, the flashes aren't meant to result in something good. It's just Claire, Aaron, and someone else getting on the chopper. Oh, man. That's int... Man, Naomi really got thrown... Bro, this is a hundred... It's 100% set after the island. Look... Look at Jack's room. It's full of flight. It's full of Oceanic Airlines. An Oceanic Airline ticket. Maps. Various maps. Coordinates potentially. Um, he's doing some. Yeah. He, like he's trying to triangulate the location of the island. To potentially get back and save everyone. This is set after. And look. He's got the pinpoints on the map of Australia here. He's got the pins there on the map. He's trying to triangulate the location of the island. I don't know what you said. I just... So someone gets off the island. I just need to see you. With Claire and Aaron on yes. the helicopter. Who gets off? Yeah. Who gets off with Jack potentially? Yeah, out at the airport. You know where. Because he's... Look, there's multiple Oceanic Airline tickets in that... You know where. I'm sorry, I'm locked the F in at the moment. I love this Thank episode. You. This is phenomenal. It it seems like he like I was saying before, he's been in some 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 sort of downward spiraling state. And maybe he was supposed to listen to Locke. Um 
but clearly something has happened where there's still potentially survivors stranded on this island and it's his mission to fix it's his mission to fix what he did in terms of calling that chopper in the the desmond flashes are flashes it doesn't necessarily mean they lead to good things just because we were told Claire and Aaron get off. Potentially, some people stayed on, you know, the island or weren't able to get on the helicopter. This is so interesting. And we only have five minutes left, so we're not going to get all the answers here. And, like, who is he meeting here? And who died? They're really obscuring who it is, isn't it? Hey, you're not allowed tinted windows like that. Who is it? Who is it? It's a woman. Straightened hair. after so kate gets off damn oh jeez this is the uh, it was a flash forward oh she glowing damn hey hey sorry i'm in the news so who died then they're pulling people out of burning wreckage damn old habits so it is after the island. So why is he so... You look terrible. Why is he so fixated on tracking down the island? Something must have... Thanks. There must be still survivors there. Why did you call me, Jack? The amount of questions you have to ask here. Why is he calling Kate? What happened to Juliet? What happened to Sawyer? I was hoping that you'd heard. Oh, so Kate hadn't heard her. Maybe he'd go to the funeral. Okay. Why would I go to the funeral? So they're keeping this close to their chest. Something must have happened between Kate and said individual to why she didn't rock up at the funeral. Fly from LA to Tokyo or Singapore. I know why he's flying again. I know why he's flying again. He's flying because he wants to he wants to get in another plane crash. He wants to get sucked in back into the island, right? He wants to get caught up again in the island. He wants to experience that all over again. Or potentially, like I said, there's survivors on the... That's why he's been flying a lot. He wants to fly again on the off chance he potentially crash lands on the island again. Is that right? They got the golden ticket, so they got a lifetime supply of oceanic flights. So he's using it to his advantage. And then I, I get off and I... So he's flying within... drink and then I fly home. He's flying within those sort of like... Why? coordinates that he pinpointed singapore tokyo i wanted to crash yeah i don't care about anybody else on board every little bump we hit or turbulence and we i actually close my eyes and i pray that i can get back <laughs> something has happened on the island no, I'm sick of lying. Something has happened and I am like itching. We made a mistake. To find out. Oh. What mistake? I have to go. He's going to be wondering where I am. Is this Sawyer? We're not supposed to leave. Uh oh. Yes, we were. What did? Why, Jack? Why weren't they supposed to leave? What happened? Like, lots of bad luck in his life after, like, post island, or, you know, we have to go back. Kate. It's some like he's in some. He's in some obsessed downward spiral here. Why do they have to go back? If you asked who probably is, you know, wants to get off the island the most, it is Jack. And then now he's like, we have to go back. What we happened? We have to go back. Remember I was saying last episode how 
We got the flash. Oh, we going in like that? Bro, I kid you not, that is one of the best finales I have ever seen. I was about to say one of the best two-part finales I've seen, but I am pretty sure before even uploading this, that this aired at the same time at the time as like one big mini movie. That is one of the best finales I have ever seen in terms of like the very first flash forward. And that just adds another whole new complexion to the show. Um, And listen, this could potentially ruin the stakes going forward as well that we know jack and kate survive on the island so anything that's going to happen on the island we know jack and kate are cool but similar to what i said last episode remember i said we got the desmond flash forward oh not the flash forward we got the desmond flashes sorry um and you know he knew charlie was going to get off the uh, he knew charlie was going to die and you know he knew um you know we we knew that the others were coming um, and he knew, like, we knew the beginning of it, and we knew the end of it. I said, we knew the beginning, we knew the end. We knew the conclusion that Charlie was going to die, and Claire and Aaron um, were going to get on that helicopter. But we know that Desmond has, you know, flashes only, and he said it. He said, I only get flashes. I don't get the whole puzzle itself. I only get pieces of the puzzle. And I feel like they gave us the ultimate flash forward here. I said, last reaction, this could be potentially lost as magnum opus, and I feel like we got the ultimate flash forward here with Jack and Kate. And, you know, sim like we, the audience, got a Desmond flash right here. That's how I see this ending. We got the ultimate Desmond flash as the audience in terms of Kate and Jack getting off the island. Kate potentially being with Sawyer um, or potentially another relationship um, from the island. He um, and, you know, who else is he? Who could, you know, she be referring to? And Jack obviously knows who he is. Someone potentially died from the island in the newspaper that Claire was unaware about. Uh, sorry, Kate was unaware about. And, you know, she didn't attend the funeral. Who is that individual? Because clearly something happened on the island potentially or maybe you know, life after the island that, you know, Kate didn't want to attend the funeral because said individual, he or she caused so much damage. So that is so interesting, so interesting because we potentially could get a lot of flash forwards and post island life with potentially Jack and Claire, who we know Claire goes on the helicopter with Aaron or, you know, Walt and Michael, if they did return home. So this is going to be so interesting. Like I said before, we got the ultimate desmond flash as the audience we got that major piece of the puzzle we got this sort of concluding puzzle but not the entire concluding puzzle pu concluding puzzle a flash of the concluding puzzle and we're gonna see that all play out we're gonna see all the pieces of the puzzle put together throughout seasons four five and six could it get convoluted hell yeah Am I going to be here for the ride? Is it amazing at the moment? Yes, it is lost magnum opus. What an ultimate finale to season three. And I know, you know, because you guys have told me that season four, it wasn't season three, season four was, because season four and five are shorter because of the writer's strike. Now that's going to be interesting to see how it impacts, how amazing the end of season three. Hopefully they don't try and, you know, go too you know, balls to the wall and end up, you know, going overboard with it. No pun intended. Um, I just hope, you know, I have faith that they'll, you know, um, make sure all the pieces of the puzzle connect together properly. But man, man, have we come so far from the hatch. We've come so far from the very first pilot episode, you know, from everyone wanting to be off the island to Jack being addicted to going back. What's ha- Oh, that is great television, ladies and gentlemen. That is for I, I um I know it's probably too too premature to say. That is one of the best finales I have ever seen in terms of like me like oh that wait at the time between season three and four would have been agonizing. I said the season two and three wait would have been agonizing. The season three and four wait would have had these would have had you guys the audience absolutely lost for words like discussing the. Uh, Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm 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 sounding like Drake here at the beginning of back to back. That is phenomenal. Phenomenal television. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. As always, it's been your boy Early Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.